What is up, scent head, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and summer's here, so we got a top 10. That's coming up next, and this is Oh So Fresh. Yo, what is good, Fresh fam? For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a freshie. It really means a lot. And if this is your first time here, welcome. As I said before, my name is Mega Dave, and this is my channel, Oh So Fresh, and I do reviews on fragrances I absolutely love. And I hope that you love them too. If you do, give me two huge fresh thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy the content. Also, think about subscribing and hit me decent. Right here in the old bell and right below the board shorts. That'll let you know when I'm uploading new content because who knows it could be your favorite fragrance that I review next. And today we got a top 10. You knew it was going to happen. I told you guys I'm going to get back into the rhythm of doing videos. I promise you at least one or two to the best of my ability. I will deliver that for you guys. And I have what I think right now currently is the best of the best in the summertime, in the warm weather, if you're going to the beach, if you're going out to the swimming pool, whatever have you. And I know a lot of times people say, don't put stuff on if you're going into the water. I disagree with you because these fragrances here, for the most part, doesn't matter if you went swimming in a typhoon, this stuff is sticking on your skin. Even when you get out, you could probably smell this stuff underwater. But let me shut up and all of that, and we're gonna get straight into the video. As always, we're gonna have an honorable mention, and this one is an unfortunate honorable mention because of its success. Uh, it is out of stock. It is no longer made. This one, nothing to be said here. Oh, so fresh. So this is my personal fragrance, and it is a clean, I'm, I probably don't need to describe it. You guys know, it's my fragrance. It is beautiful. It would be probably number one or number two, because number one is going to be hard to dethrone, even with my own fragrance itself. But it's not going to be made again, so it's kind of tough to say, hey, here it is. But if you have it, if you're lucky enough to own one of these, uh, you, without being said, put this on your skin, beach, going out, office, whatever you want to do with it, this thing is going to get the job done. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, so fresh. That's me. All right, if we're doing a summer fragrance top 10, we're going to the beach. And if we're going to the beach, we need some beach vibes. That's what we got right here. So this is a much, much needed remake from Louis Vuitton's On the Beach. I did a review for that as well. I love the fragrance, but I hated that you're paying like 400 bucks, right? And it lasts like four minutes. Not a really good return on investment. He took that beautiful yuzu, that neroli, very good fragrance, very easy to wear fragrance and put power into it somehow with keeping that freshness. Something he does, ain't gonna ask him how the magic is done, I'm just going to tell you that if you were a fan of that, you're going to be a fan of this. Very, very easy to wear. It's one that I would recommend probably 10 times out of 10, especially not just going to the beach, but out in the heat in general. If you want something that's going to last for the most part, this isn't the biggest beast of a fragrance, but from what it came from to what it is now, and you're going to get six, seven hours out of it uh, when you're getting, like I said, realistically three, four hours maybe total if you're like really pushing it. So did a great job. Beach vibes. All right, coming up next, number nine. Got one that's been around for a long time. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's either this one or it's little brother that's a little bit stronger. Either way, we're getting into it. This one, his aspiration, edition, Bianca. So this is Chanel Allure Homme Sport Edition Blanche. Uh, this is the creamy lemon pie type of thing. The lemon meringue pie, man, it's so good. So it's either between this one or Extreme Sport Edition, the Sport Extreme whatever, uh, from Chanel. Both of them are amazing. I may lean a little bit more towards the extreme sometimes, but this one, like I said, has that creamy lemon meringue pie type of vibe, but fresh, but projecting loud. Fantastic for the summertime, for the spring, even if you want to. It has very good longevity as well. It's something that you will get a lot of compliments on because it is going to get in the air. It's one that is definitely going on this list. That's why it's here. This one, his aspiration edition, Bianca. Next one is a newer acquisition, but when I smelled it, I knew it was going straight into this list. It is a beautiful, beautiful hybrid. This one, Essence of Vast Citrus Water. Again, I know, super freaking long name, but this was Aqua de Gio Ascenza. That one that smells like cool, crisp, clean, like water, 
water, okay? And then it has Louvuitton's Luministe, Leuministe, it's Leuministe, or however the hell you say it. It is just, it does have a heavy dose of that Ascenza first, okay? And it's not fully macerated, but already it's pretty solid. Obviously, that's why it made it on the list. So if you are a fan of either of those, I think you're going to love this one as well. It gets some herbaceousness. It has that cold, crisp, clean water vibe, like I mentioned. It has touches of brightness to it. But like I said, it's just an extremely easy to wear, very, very good. It doesn't matter if you're in Texas and it's 150, this thing is going to smell good and it's going to last, okay? Do was, for the most part, do that. This does it well, extremely well. So something I would definitely recommend, especially if it's something that some of these are gonna be ones that have been around for a long time. In fact, number one, probably will always be number one, just in my nostril piece. Uh, it just smells fantastic. I think it is the epitome, but that's getting ahead of ourselves. We're putting the horse before the cart or the cart before the horse, whatever you say. Uh, you guys know what I mean. But this is a newer acquisition, probably one that a lot of people have not smelled. So maybe try to get your nostril on it, take a sample or a full bottle. If you're looking for a sample, doasamples.com can hook you up there. But this thing, extremely, extremely easy to wear. Office, out to the beach, out to clubs, like whatever, it's going to get it done. Essence of vast citrus water. All right, coming up next is one that I made, okay? And uh, it's not like a personal fragrance that he made specifically for me and I designed it. This was one way back that I asked him, schmoosh two together, and I thought it would be a beautiful fragrance and it turned out that I was right. This one here, Poseidon's Desire 2. So with the Poseidon, you guys already know what's happening with it. That's the Kang. And you know there's gonna be a list, there's gonna be a Kang on it. Uh, this one just so happens to have a really good version of the Kang himself. Creed Aventus is phenomenal with that pineapple note, has that very like masculine vibe to it uh, while staying very mass appealing. Uh, the Desire 2 part is Zerzhov's Cruise de Sore. Beautiful. And I mean, absolutely beautiful mango. This is creamy. That mango is like the star of the show, but it doesn't get completely out of hand with the Poseidon. You get a little bit of that pineapple, that vibe that you're getting from the musk that comes from the Poseidon as well, aka uh, the Kang himself. It's just one that I just knew was going to work so well together. He put it together, did his thing, and it came out absolutely incredible. One that I will always recommend for any time, but especially for the summer. All right, coming up next, we got one that's been around again for a hot minute. This one here is a blend of two creeds. I've said it on a bunch of lists before. It's still here because it's still in my heart, a very phenomenal fragrance, one that the majority of people can wear, especially men, especially if you're a little bit more mature. This one is going to be right up your alley. This one here, High Seas of Everest. So this is a blend, Creed, Arolfa, and Himalaya. <laughs> it's like, it's hard to describe this because it's like very cold, right? So if you're at the top of the Himalayas, you would imagine it's very cold, but this comes off salty. This comes off musky. This comes off very cooling, clean, crisp, fresh. It's just a combination. It does have a little bit more of a mature vibe, but I think most men especially can pull this off. Women, if you're confident with those type of things, the notes that are in here uh, definitely, I think, appeal more towards men, but do whatever you love, wear what you love, love what you wear. But this thing is a great, great freshie that is often overshadowed by a lot of other fragrances. This one, you know, it gets foreshadowed by the Aventus and Virgin Island Water and all those. But these two fragrances are not to be slept on. So stop snoozing. Get up and put this on your body. High seas of Everest. All right. Coming up next, we got one that's been around for a minute. Still a very, very popular fragrance. One that was out of stock, comes back in. This one, I think, right now is currently in stock because some of that buzz has died down, but the fragrance itself, that buzz still going in my heart. This one, Azure Supernova 2.0. So this is technically a tribrid. Uh, realistically, though, it's two fragrances that are together. This one is Giorgio Armani's Aqua di Gio Profondo, that newer 2020 batch that came out, the very fresh aquatic one. Wait, they're all fresh aquatic. But you guys know what I mean. It's the 2020 Profondo. Then you also got something from Roja which is a phenomenal house by itself. And Elysium is a great, great grapefruit fragrance. That's hard to say, great, great, grapefruit. But that's in here as well. So you're getting that tartness, you're getting that fresh vibe from that Profondo, and then you're getting bits of the Kang himself. He came in here twice, but you don't really get an ultra dose of that Poseidon at all. You get little notes of that. You're getting ISO E Super though, and you're getting Ambroxan. So if you're not a fan of that, uh, this one might not be for you, but this is a projection monster. This is a mass appealing compliment getter, okay? One of the better in the list because of how strong it is. 
So that's why it's in here. This was given to me uh, way back then by my boy, Matt. So I've nicknamed it the gift, but it's still the gift that keeps on giving because every time I put it on, I give someone a gift from the smell and I get a compliment back. So it's kind of a mutual arrangement. Definitely something you should try for the summer, for the heat, Azure Supernova 2.0. Coming up next is another one that is out of stock, but don't worry because I have the backup for you just in case you do not have this one. This one used to be ranked up much higher, but a couple have swung in there and kind of stolen the show from it, but it's still a fantastic fragrance. This one here, Aquaventure 2016. If we're going into the season for the heat and being aquatic, right? Very, very few do it as good as Invictus Aqua 2016 did, okay? The newer versions, a little bit too much aqua inside of them and they watered down. This was based off that old batch, right? The 2016 that was salty, that was a little bit more gritty. And I know this particular one is out of stock, but there are a few errors in the lineup that uh, could definitely get you where you want to find it. Uh, just search error 408 and you may uh, be in luck to find it. This thing, if you miss that, this is that, okay? The 2016 batch, like I mentioned, grittier, saltier, very, very strong, okay? It's gonna give you those vibes. It's not that ultra sweet bubble gum like that newer Aventus Aqua is. This has, like I mentioned, it's a little bit more like dirty, if you wanna say it like that. Very good, very long lasting, gonna get you a ton of compliments, gonna bring back 2016, even though in 2022, okay? One that I think most people will enjoy. So like I mentioned, if you don't have Aqua Venture, Check that error series out and you may be able to find it. Put it on your skin and let me know what you guys think. Aquaventure 2016. All right, coming up next, my number three fragrance is one that's a newish acquisition. It was one that was born out of hate, but made with love. This one here, the holy water of Fragcom. Fragcom's toxicity. I think everyone knew this one's about to be here, especially when I did the review on this thing. So the story, just a quick synopsis of it. And I have a video, I'll put the card up right here. But it was built off of Masam himself going into, and everybody uh, loves or hates. It's a very polarizing type of topic with Dua when you go to Fragrance Marketplace. But they love him or they hate him. He was getting a lot of hate, and he wanted to uh, make something. And he was upset one day hearing all the negative stuff, and he created this, which is a very, very loud green apple uh, citrus type of fragrance with this beautiful tea note that's mixed inside of here, and it dries down. Just this great little fragrance, but one of the biggest things is that this sucker pushes, okay? It is a mass pleaser. It's a very easy to wear type of thing, but like I mentioned, it's meant to be like holy water, so if you're feeling a little hate, you spray some in the air, put it on your skin, and you know, you're getting rid of your demons or whatever it may be. It's energizing, super fresh. Man, I haven't wore this in a little while. I'm wearing it now. Definitely one, I think, if it's in stock, I think he just brought it back. Maybe worth a try. If it's not, try to find a sample of it, whatever. But Fragcom's Toxicity, definitely an easy, easy pick for me for the summer. All right, coming up next, my number two fragrance. It was a tight battle because I do absolutely love this fragrance a lot. It's one that uh, means a bunch to me, and I didn't even know that I loved it that much. He got extremely close when he did this one. Uh, the hard part was trying to match this particular T note that was in it. This one, Aquatic Seduction. So this is Juliet Matt's Aqua Sextius, and it is sexy. This is, you know, it's a nice citrus in the front, okay? But the start of the show is this gorgeous, like, very calming tea note, but still with power. Sometimes, like, with Homecoming, right? Um, it, it's not super loud, and it's meant to be calming. This one does have some power to it. It's not obnoxiously loud, like Fragcom Toxicity, where it's going to be all in your face, but you will smell this. That's what it's designed for. But like I mentioned, that tea note that is in here, is absolutely incredible. And I know I spoke to him about this and he was telling me this gave him a tough time trying to replicate that tea note. And they had to try different tea leaves and tea tinctures to get to what we have now, which I think is almost absolute perfection. I own the original, I own this one. Uh, it's just something I think for the summertime is a staple. And I think I'm gonna continue to wear it. And hopefully you guys will too. Aquatic Seduction. All right, my number one fragrance, been number one for I don't know how many years. However long I've been doing this, I think it will always stay. I think this is literally summer in a bottle. I don't even need to say much. You could probably turn the video off now because you guys know it was coming. Caribbean Casino. Look, I mean, I got a little bit left. I do have backups, but this is one of my older bottles from the newer ones that I have. But this is Creed's Virgin Island Water. 
It's got Baccarat Rue 540, X straight from Mason Francis, Kirk John. But just hearing those two together, it doesn't sound spectacular until you smell what this is. It's literally like an island in a bottle. This is summer in a bottle. It's creamy. It's super unisexy. If you want to say this, perfect for both. I think it's amazing on women. Men pull it off. I wear this quite often, and I always feel extremely tropical when I do. That's why the dent is disgusting on it, because I do wear this a bunch. Uh, it does have very good power, but I still like to overspray this one, Like, because if I'm going onto a beach, or if I'm going out to a pool, or if I have a shirt with a bunch of buttons open, with I don't have any hamburger meat, but if I did, that stuff would be bustling around here. But I think it's the epitome for summer, okay? This one is going to be hard to beat. Actually, I almost wanted to put Caribbean Desire too, which is phenomenal. I had to choose between that Poseidon's Desire. I like that one a bit more and I didn't want to like cloud the whole list with Caribbean because Caribbean, uh, you know, the Virgin Line water is like meant for summer. But this one, the best of the best. You can look through the line and say all oh, this, you know, there's a bunch that I wanted to place in here. Painkiller Cocktail almost made it in. Also Miami from Nomad just doesn't project as long as I would want. I almost put a couple of the Encounter Sense lines in there too. Uh, you know, there's the list could be endless because there's so many freshies, but none of them knocking this baby out of the spot, at least not right now to me. But that's all I got until I come to you again. I hope you guys enjoy this list. I'm going to keep pumping these videos out until I come again. I ask that you continue to be blessed and stay fresh.